We got one, 1,690 bucks at the auction. Oh, yes. That is metal. <laughs> what? What? what is that? Those are dollar coins right there. Sacagaweas, right? What's this? Oh, nice, look at that. Elvis. Could be stones, could be marbles, could be coins. Let's see, let's see, you ready? Maybe it's filled with Pokemon cards. What do you guys think? Okay, what's, oh, ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Woo. Oh, 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 oh. Something better. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, ah. All right, locker nuts. You know what that means? We got one, 1,690 bucks at the auction, plus fees, which is 10%, which is another $169, which is, I'll put it up here, too much, all right? Too much to pay for this locker, which is a five by five, super small, got boxes, no furniture, I don't think, but I like what I saw. Let me show you what it looks like. I know you're gonna say, I know what you're gonna say. Lock and nuts, you're nuts. Oh, yes. That's what we got. Okay, yes, small, small. That's the wall, back wall. But look at all these boxes. Yeah, okay. Toys, right? Toys. I, I see you see toys. There's some Legos right there. Some toys up here. Uh, quite a few boxes, some bags. Look at this. Uh, this is like a little amplifier or something. And I was worried this might be plastic. That is metal. <laughs> what? What? what is that? Okay, wait, I didn't even know that opens already. What do we got here? What the heck? Oh my goodness, this is how we're starting this out, really? Those are dollar coins right there. Sacagaweas, right? Yes, 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 yes. Is that what they all are? There's at least one. I don't even have my glasses on. I wasn't ready to start finding stuff. That's Sacagawea, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go in my pocket. Okay, that's a <laughs> good start. Okay, um, this, more so than the toys we just showed, I like this right here. Metal kit. 1932. Um, oh, and this right here. Mustang. All right, Mustang, that's a, uh, that's a model, it looks like. That's a beer, look. Okay, so we, yeah, we're seeing some interesting stuff here. I don't know what this is right here, a skateboard deck, maybe? Uh, this little fin right here is what's got me, got me confused, but uh, look at this sombrero. That's not a cheap one that they give you free at Chevy's when it's your birthday. This is a nice sombrero. Heavy, it's heavy too, good quality. Oh, speaking of Chevys. <laughs> <laughs> There's the actual Chevy's one right there. Okay, that's funny. Looks like some clothes, maybe. Maybe. Oh, bummer. That's just a box. Dang it, that's just the top. Ooh, that sucks. Star Wars, that would have been a good one. Mm. Okay. That's not so good. Let's look what's in here. So here, guys, let's check this out. I've only got my phone today. I wasn't planning on coming here. Had a little bit of drama involved. I'll tell you about that in just a second. But this, um, I'm caught without my GoPro at the moment because I wasn't planning on coming here. So we'll do what we can with the phone. But my plan is uh, that I want to just load this up. I got my van. And, yeah, look at that. This is interesting because it is metal. These are metal pieces. These are not plastic pieces. So it looks like it's partially assembled but not complete. Not completely assembled. I don't think I've seen a metal one before. Hmm, that's neat. Okay, so that's neat. I mean, really, there's only a few things in here that made me want to buy it. That was one. This, this, the Star Wars Lego, unfortunately, um... It's not, it's just a box. We'll see what else is in here. But just a few things that look like toys. This right here, I see track. I see track poking out. I'm hoping, obviously, for a lot more toys in here. All right, but now that I can see a little better, I see a lot of plastic bags in here. Clothing, all right? So maybe there's no more toys in here. But hey, 
We'll find out what's in there in just a second. Let me start getting this unloaded. We're going to take this either home or to my unit and start going through it. Right now, let's just get it out. <laughs> Two boxes loaded. Huh? Back on the camera. Okay, because look at this. Pull that box out right here. What do we got right here? It's a little jewelry box, isn't it? Uh, no jewelry in it. Mm. Hmm. All right. Okay, those are not bags of clothing. Those are stuffed animals. All right, we got some plush. Plush, much better than clothing usually. Usually, look at this though. Move those bags right here. Got something right here, a big eagle. Looks like a resin statue. Then look at this right here. <laughs> did you guys see that? I did not even see that. I think that was completely covered or I'm completely blind. Maybe someone else saw that in the photo and I missed it. Uh, it's a little thrashed guitar. Encore, it's electric guitar. It's doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it's heavy. It just looks a little thrashed, though. But that's so cool. That's pretty cool. All right. What is this looking like back here? Oh, I see another jewelry box right here. Right? It's another jewelry box. There's like two other people working very close by, so I'm not going to be like super loud. Oh, I see a bunch of books there. That's not good. It looks like kids' stuff. So I was hoping these were more adult toys, you know, like a, a toy collector. But um, I see the fire engine right here. It looks kind of thrashed. It's more like kids, you know, kids' toys. Kid, kids' toys. I mean, kids have been playing with it. That lamp back there is interesting. It looks like a train car. Uh, yeah, look at that. Got the light on it and looks a, a little clearer. That's a very interesting piece right there. What is over here? Airplane? Hmm. I'm liking it. Okay, this right here. What's in here? Ooh, this is fun already. Cost me a lot for this one, guys. Um, it cost me a lot. I had to pay to play. So. Okay. Some uh, wood beads right here. That'd be nice if that was gold, but I don't think it is. Okay, a little bit of jewelry, though. Okay, all right, that's good. Wasn't really expecting jewelry in here, so. I think it was owned by a woman, though. Okay. World of animals. Look at this. Oh, unfortunately, there's rat poop in here. Dang, I see rat poop on top of there. What the heck? Actually, I'd, I thought I might see some over here, too, when I first peeked in here, but uh, that's not a good sign. That kind of sucks. There's a bunch of rocks, though. These look like they're decent. That's a good-sized bag of polished stones. Looks like the rats maybe nibbled on the bag a little bit. That's crazy. What are they, what are they after here? I don't know, the rock's starting to come out, but let's let's look in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, come to Papa. Come to Daddy. What do we have here? Oh, guys, this is good. I see some. Right there's a money clip. It looks like silver, maybe. Um... All right, we're bringing that home. And then there's a little guy right here, too. I got a peek. I got a peek, but we're bringing it home to go through it closer. What's this? Oh, nice. Look at that. Elvis. Collectible knife. Very nice. Yes. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Sweet. Oh, this one's heavy. Nope, that's not a good spot. Could be stones, could be marbles, could be coins. Let's see, let's see, you ready? Marbles, yeah. That's good, that's really good. Look at all of these marbles, got some dice. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Hey, we sell marbles in our live auctions. We have marble collectors that buy from us, so this is a good find right here. Yeah, that one's broken. Hopefully we got some old ones, some really good ones here. 
It's a collection, so you never know. You never know what they got. Looks decent. All right, that's a good find. I mean, I prefer gold and silver and gems, but I'll take it. I'll take marbles. I'll take uh, old marbles for sure. Um, man. Ooh, do you see that right there? Uh oh. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was a chest. I thought it was a wood chest. It might just be like a side table or something. Um, oh, I was hoping it was a wood chest. You can see a little better with the light. Not quite, not quite. All right. Let me keep unloading this thing. And uh, I'll start the camera if I find any more stuff like this. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Uh, okay. Second load. So there's not great loads because there's so many, like, just loose and odd shaped items boxes stack easy but the other stuff doesn't but uh you can see a little bit more in here a lot of books there unfortunately but this right here look at this maybe some pokemon and see a little anime stuff i'm just saying maybe there's a chance of some pokemon cards in here or something look at this dragon ball z right there some stickers on top of that dragon ball z so there might be some cool stuff in here let's hope let's hope i do see some uh oh there's some legos it looks like maybe spilling out of this bag right here the bag's been eat, chewed through right here by something. And then, uh, yeah, some Star Wars games right there. Lego. Cool. Okay, a little bit more opened up now. Starting to see what's behind. Looks like an old TV right there. There's the other part of the fire uh, fire engine right there. Man, that one says clothes right there. That's not good. All right. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It, stuff's a little dirty. Like, it's making my fingers sticky. I don't like that. We like clean stuff. This looks like a clean locker, but it is a little bit dirty. We got the rat turds. Got a little bit of greasiness on it. It's a cool tiger right there. Um, uh, we'll see what's in there. Probably a typewriter. Samsonite, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. But um, yeah, a lot more bags of stuffed animals. Just some miscellaneous. I see little kid stuff too, like projects and stuff. Taped on top of this. What's that? Pokemon. All right. All right. Getting down to the end of it here. Um, but like one more load. A lot more books. These books back here are not good either. These are uh, some kind of encyclopedia type books. The new book of knowledge. Not new by today's measures. Um, but yeah, electronic battleship. Not great, great stuff here. Lots of books. Okay. Lots of books. Um, this train, this train set of some sort, and this right here with the track that's interesting we're gonna take a look at that uh, this right here em empty yeah, that's a bummer what's this right here yeah, another another children's book so not liking that stuff bring it home go through the boxes the boxes have some hope all right let's see yeah. Yeah. dang it all right, I got it all in the in the van. Uh, easy load, very easy load. This actual wardrobe box was here before, so I just put some of the bulkier, loose, clumsy items in there just to keep it contained. And I might stop off at the thrift store on the way home and see if they'll take all these books because that's just a uh, waste of space right there. And maybe if they take that old TV too. All right, I'm headed out. And what's kind of funny is that right in front of me, one of these units right here are the is where uh, we bought the train unit, that big collab unit. That was amazing, amazing locker. It was right there. All right, I'm on my way home. I'll tell you, so far, not in love. With, I'm not in love with this one. I think I, I knew I overpaid, but I think I grossly overpaid on this one. It's not. The rest of the stuff didn't have the feel that I thought I read on this one. I was seeing older toys, and I, I don't know. Those few pieces of older toys, a lot of the other stuff, like the children's books, they're older, but they're just not high quality, and they're not collectible. They're not valuable. Yeah, I'm not seeing the value there. But here's the drama on this one. So yesterday, I was at the flea market. I was bidding on my phone, snatched this one up. Just stupid pricing, right? I mean, I just... It was just dumb to bid that much money. I finally got it. So on the way home from the flea market, I stopped there. It's on my way home. I pay for it. I go to pay for it. And then anything that sells over $1,000 at public storage needs manager approval. So I sat there for about an hour waiting for it to be approved. And then I was told that, oh, sorry, we can't approve this today. We gotta wait till tomorrow morning. Why? Well, because the owner has been a customer since 2004, so 17 years great customer always pays on time then they just drop out of communication so they don't know 
they they didn't feel comfortable letting it go without like basically one more round of due diligence. Probably gave her another call, probably double checked that they sent all the letters out and everything. Uh, this morning I got the green light. So anyways, I thought I was gonna start this video yesterday. I was all ready, I had my trailer and everything, and then I was told, uh, no, we, uh, you gotta wait. All right guys, it's getting tough to buy lockers these days. Very tough. All right guys, we are at my locker. All right, I, I came this morning and actually took some garbage. I had a lot of garbage that has been accumulating here. Like when I go to the flea market, bring back garbage. If it's not enough to go to the dump right then, uh, I kind of just staff, stash it in here, go to the dump when it's convenient. And so that's what I did this morning. I uh, got a nice little area to work here. So I got some tables. So let's get to it. Let's see what we got in here. All right, I brought the van with me. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I didn't get to the thrift store. Take those books out. I'm going to regret that now because it would have been nice to get that out. All right, let's get started dragging some of this stuff out. I'll bring it in there. We'll start unboxing in there and see if we... Well, let's hope those boxes have some goodies. I got a lot of money to make back. This is a Tonka made in the USA fire truck right here. This might have a little bit of value. Huh, that's, uh, that's kind of interesting. Oh yes, look at this. Okay, this Samsonite luggage. I like that it has the Pokemon ball sitting on top because, I don't know, I'm kind of hopeful. Maybe it's filled with Pokemon cards. What do you guys think? How about we find out right now? Is this full of Pokemon? Uh oh, maybe we won't be finding out right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought maybe it's locked. Nope, just not opening it. All right, are you ready? On a one, on a two, three. Not Pokemon cards. What do we have here? Great state of Texas, $100. Well, that's a little different. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. I got some photo, personal photos. Personal photos. More personal photos. All things full of personal photos. I wanted Pokemon cards. That's not Pokemon. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, the little suitcase is nice. That might sell at the vintage market. And the Pokemon plush is kind of cool. Number 25. Pikachu. Huh. All right. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay. That's a dirty bedspread or something. Comforter. A couple of books right here. Whoa, this is really old. 1942, pretty old. That's cool. But this is more interesting to me right here. Star Wars Death Star Assault Game. The top on this is a little dirty. I'll have to clean that up. If this is going to be sold, I don't even know if it has any value. Ooh, that's kind of cool though. Whoa, neat. All right, not much to it, but is that all that's supposed to be? It's not very fancy. You think it had like stickers or stuff on it? Can't imagine that's worth too much because it doesn't seem like it's just really all that nice, really. But still, Star Wars. What's this one? Lego Time Cruisers game. Oh, yeah, it's just miscellaneous stuff in here. I don't. It doesn't even look like this original stuff. Vortex. Yeah. Jumanji game. If this got any value, if it's like an original one or something, not much to that either. Okay, blanket. Jeez. <laughs> ah, yes, and this heartbreaker right here, the Star Wars piece, that could have been worth a couple hundred bucks actually. This one, 7190. It could be worth a couple hundred bucks if that was complete. I think that's the bottom, the bottom lid, you know. We still might have the pieces in here, but it won't be, it probably won't be complete because it'll all be out of the box. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was the beginning of the disappointment in this one. Okay, what's, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, what is this? Millennium Falcon, all right, but it's taped a broken part right there. This is not like uh, the 1970s. It's too small for that. This is something later, but this is still kind of cool. I'm looking for any kind of like year or maker or something. Give a little bit more information. I'm not seeing too much. This is looking pretty grody. What's up with this? It's like they glued these shut right here. This is looking all glued on or something right there. Gosh, this kid. 
this one too it's all glued I think that was landing gear or something and it's all glued together that's unfortunate this is all glued on too it's like it's, he broke up all the stuff and then glued it all back together okay all right what's this I'm having real trouble finding any maker marks on these things how's that even possible so m m dispenser is this a good piece but 1991 believe it or not that's 30 years old but look at the condition it's just all scratched up very rough very rough condition on all these toys which um you know when you're a kid and you play with your toys that's what you kind of expect but i was hoping for more of a toy collector you know like someone who collected older guy maybe who picked up some older toys and starting to collect them that's kind of what i was feeling but oh boy i was wrong on this one triceratops or something right here <laughs> what's inside of it though do I even want to know? A sock. Yeah. Nope. Not doing it. There's some kind of transformer Buzz Lightyear right here. This one doesn't look like it's wrecked like the other ones. It looks a little better condition. That's neat. 2000 Trend Masters Inc. That's some sort of little robot right here. Looks like you put something in there too. Maybe like a card or something. Strombecker 5250 Battleship made in the USA. Well, hey, got something made in the USA. That's good. That's a little better. Tech Deck. Oh, these are those little skateboards, those little Tech Deck skateboards, and here's the extra parts for it. Parts and pieces. That's kind of a neat piece. A couple more Millennium Falcons. All right, what's this? Pardon me. Huh. All right. It's supposed to dispense something. It's pretty cheap. Holiday Creations 2001. Ooh. Brain warp. All right. Trophies. Miscellaneous stuff. Here's some little caps for Cap Gun. There's a little Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, it says. 2000 Nintendo. All right, now here's the cap gun right here. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Take those little caps. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Here we go. Woo hoo hoo, that was cool. That one didn't even pop. That was just from one. Heck aloud. It's a dud. Whew, dang. You know what? I'm gonna have to bring that home and show my girls. They'll get a kick out of that. They've never seen one before. I don't think. Harley Davidson, police. Another, oh, another dispenser. Missing the lid this time. Space shuttle. Ooh. Mm -mm. That looked good for a second. Wish I had some coins. It is a piggy bank and it's open. Oh, there's a G.I. Joe, right? United States Army. That's pretty cool. It looks like a newer G.I. Joe to me. Oh, there's a Pokemon. It's missing the battery thing though. Pokedex. There it goes. Yeah, okay. I wish the battery compartment was in here. It's not the. There's some fake blood though. Oh, that does look real. All right, guys, you ready? Oh, ah, oh, just kidding. You'll see that at the beginning of the video. Ah, that's heck of funny. All right, I'll have to take that home too. <laughs> Gotta take the fun stuff home. Okay, this one here says clothes. Let's see. Feels like clothes. Looks like clothes. Mm -hmm. It's clothes. Van Houston. Mm -hmm. T-shirts. <laughs> Underwear. Brand new. Come on, something better. Where is it? I thought I saw Star Wars in here somewhere. 
Oh, there's the Star Wars shirt. I thought I saw one in there. Yeah, that's cool. Size large. I like it, but I don't like the, this. Jackie Chan Adventures? What's that? Hmm. Okay, that's a little different. Okay, let's see what's in this backpack, which is a little heavy, which could mean paperwork, or it could mean something better. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Something better. Not that. I don't know what that is. Stickers? But this. That's uh, Yu Gi Oh cards, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're in a little bit rough condition, though. Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. A little rougher condition, but so what? Still finding something a little better. Yes. A little better. Oh, Pokemon Sapphire Edition. That's the Game Boy games. Those are, those are some money. I have found those before. Mint in the box. Sold them uh, for good money. That was some years ago. What else we got in here? There's a glass uh, marble as a pendant. A little necklace. Ooh, we got here. We got some money. We got some money. Canadian. And pennies. Okay, not too much, but hey, it's something. Ooh, it's this. Mm, dang. For those little, like, they're like tops or something. They're like battle spinners or some something goofy like that, but sterling silver charm jewelry uh, container. And that's clickbait right there. A couple more pennies. A couple of kids books. More kids books. This is a decent couple bucks for all of them to combine. I mean, I need some bigger money than that. We got a lot invested in this locker. We gotta get it back. Gotta get it back. More books. Nothing in this one. What? Oh man, this is the books. I thought it felt like books. Bambi. That looks older. Let's see when this was made. Let's find an older books. 1956. We'll put that aside. Pokemon book. I want the Pokemon cards. Put some leaves in a glass jar. That's what hoarders do. What's that? A little puzzle or something. Yeah, okay, look at this. Yamaha. A little recorder, right? Yeah, recorder. This one says boring binder. Okay, well. Let's not oversell it here, kid. <laughs> hmm. He was right. He was right. There was no clickbait in there. Yeah, that's cool. 3D cover there. Um, yeah, schoolwork. That is definitely boring. It was boring when I was in school, and it's boring now. Electronic Battleship. That might have a little value. I don't know. Okay, and this is one of the pieces that we saw in the pictures that made me want to buy the unit. It's not put together. Can't tell if it's complete or not, though. That's kind of cool. I have to look that up. Well, you'll see. I'll put it on the screen. What is that worth? That's a little neater, though. I like that. And then this one, I think I looked it up, and it did not have a significant value on it. So, yeah, I was a little disappointed by that. All right, next box. Paperwork miscellaneous. And that's what it appears to be. Wasn't even closed. It's open like that. Okay, cards. Uh, Jeez. So depressing. Let's throw and vote some money. Haven't found one yet. Okay, there's a couple of uh, keychains. Hawaii and a Playboy logo. They look like they're vintage. That Hawaiian one's actually really cool. It's brass. And then here's a little St. Christopher charm. I'll put those aside. Okay, next box looks like toys. Yeah, here's a nice buzz. All right, we've had them before. Thinkway. <laughs> the batteries are barely holding on. It does work. Kind of a cool little gun here. But the battery uh, door's missing. That's happened a lot on this one. Harry Potter. Mirror of Erised. Magic trinket box, huh? Ooh, what's this? 
Yeah, this is actually kind of nice. It's heavy. Yeah, there's Harry Potter. Huh? And there's his parents. Oh, how cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, what else we got in here? Oh, it looks like game pieces or something. You guys know what this is for? Commander, it says. That looks almost Pokemon-ish. <laughs> if you can use Pokemon in a sentence like that. Ease glove, little souvenir thing. Right, what do we got in here? Oh, this is just a big box of toys. Broken toys, apparently. That is an old battery right there. It's probably an old toy. Made in France, what the heck? Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, man, there's just a ton of toys in here. And unfortunately, like, look at this one, for example. It's a really dirty. These were some dirty people. They did not, uh, they did not keep a clean house, and they didn't keep their stuff in good condition. And that's really too bad. Oh, there's a little homie. Okay, this is some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something, but they're trash. These are metal right here. 1992 Toy Max Inc. All rights reserved. This is metal. This is some sort of a mold. Maybe it's Play-Doh. Maybe it's maybe it's something else. Oh, 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 something better. This is an old camera. Instamatic 20 pocket camera. There's some decent stuff in here. You know, and then there's just some straight up garbage in here. I don't get it. There's a Power Ranger action figure. I think we're gonna have to bring this home. I really don't want to be here all day in the storage unit. So I think we're gonna have to bring this home and go through everything and get rid of the trash like this. And then uh, pull out those pieces. Like, that looks interesting. A little sword arm. It's a little jewelry pouch here, but nothing in it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go through all this stuff and sort it real well and pull out any like action figures and, and better items and put those maybe into a lot and sell them in our auction. And there's some battery compartments right there. It's probably the battery compartments some of the toys. Oh man. Right. Look at this number one dad. <laughs> there's nothing in there. Oh, uh-oh. Fine jewelry. Okay, we'll hold on now. Okay, this is, uh... What the heck? 